Good afternoon. I'm Chris Tibbs. I'm a meteorologist and I'm also a sailor. And I will be taking part in the, the race tomorrow. Now, a little bit different being um, doing this from remotely rather than being in front of you. But let's get on with the forecast. As you can see from this weather chart, we have a ridge of high pressure over the UK. And this is slowly moving away as that low to the west gently approaches. There are a couple of weather fronts with this low and they are pushing towards us expected in the English Channel early tomorrow morning. But at the moment, we have still got the remains of the high pressure, the ridge of high pressure, and that's been giving us some fairly light southwesterly winds. Now, you can see from these grid files, uh, this is um, uh, for a company uh, called Thayer. They work very much with Raymarine, and um, you can put the grid files over the Raymarine chart plotters. But um, it is available to everybody. So if you want any more information, just have a, a quick look on the website. So by midnight tonight, we've got this frontal system, which is expected to split into two, moving slowly into the channel. And then by midday tomorrow, it's going to be right over the Isle of Wight before it moves away to the east. So this is going to mean that tomorrow morning we will be starting ahead of the front and we will get some patchy rain and showers, but it will be relatively light wind. Now, these fronts, are as they approach, they're due around midday. Um, and after the front, we're going to have southwesterly winds and the southwesterly winds will pick up during the afternoon. So if we look at the grid files for early Saturday morning, we can, we can see here that expecting the wind to come around from the east to the southeast. Not a great dire direction for the Startic cows because as you get into the western Solon, you tend to lose the wind. But things are going to improve, although the morning will be a little bit slow. And uh, because it's fairly southerly in the western Solon, we might find that the wind creeps around the western end of the island. And so as we get down towards Yarmouth, Lymington, we might find that that's a south to southwesterly as the uh, wind bends around the island. You know, quite variable in the western Solon. Um, we will have the approaching frontal systems. There will be a little bit of showers, but the wind behind it will be a southwesterly. So once we've got through the front, then we'll have uh, something like this shown in the in the grid files. So I'm expecting southwesterly wind in the afternoon, 10 to 15 knots, possibly 13 to 18 knots near the finish later in the afternoon. Now, temperatures are short, reach uh, around about 20 degrees, and the water temperature around about 16 degrees in the Solent, a little bit cooler in the channel. But tomorrow's wind, tomorrow afternoon's wind, is going to be driven by the gradient rather than by a sea breeze. Uh, obviously, with the light and variable winds, a bit difficult at the start. Strong tides need to be well back, not getting swished across the line too early. And wind shadow is particularly important in light winds. That's wind shadow from other boats and wind shadow from the land. Do watch out, try not to get too close to the land when the wind's blowing off the land. Otherwise, you may well find that you've only got small amounts of wind. Now, it will probably go very light just ahead of the front. And uh, with, the, with the light winds, it's a bit difficult to work out where you'll be, where the tidal gates will be. But well worth working out. And just as a reminder, we've got the times of high water at Portsmouth below. And also to watch for, we've got the moorings in Yarmouth and also at Sea View, which are obstructions. Do have a, a quick read of your sailing instructions, preferably before the start. Showing where the moorings are 
at Yarmouth that we keep clear of. And then the first of the, the real decisions, inside or outside of the wreck. Inside passage, high risk, there are some gains, but we need to be particularly careful in, in light winds and strong tides because the tide will tend to push you over the, uh, over the wreck. So you need to be really confident that you're not only going to keep your boat speed and control going through there, but also just where you are. It is much safer and very little slower to go around the outside, keeping clear of the wreck. Um, so obviously your choice, I'll be going around the outside. And this is one of a, a lovely picture, I always think. Um, it's from some Ray Marine equipment and it shows the rocky ledge and very clearly uh, the remains of the boiler sitting on the, the rocky ledge. Try not to join the boiler on the rocky ledge. Opposite St. Catharines, always some overfalls and a fairly strong tide. Um, won't be particularly bad tomorrow with the, the wind being relatively light, but it's still quite uncomfortable if you get caught out in the, in the overfalls. Now the eastern near the end of the island shouldn't really be any problems there. Uh, just to note that these charts and soundings are in feet, not meters, so please don't use them for navigation. And then we have the decision inside or outside of the port. Uh, but the, the thing that catches people out most years is ride sands. As you can see from this slide, they stick out quite a long way and it's easy to tuck in. Oh, I'll try and get the, the, the arrow there. Yeah, we tuck in here on a, um, a starboard tack, come in a little bit too far, go over to port because we're likely to have a southwesterly wind here. And as you come out, you hit the, hit the sandbank. It will not be around the island race without at least one boat going up and parking on ride sands. And after all that, after the ride sands, balance between being too close to the island in fickle wind, too far out in the tide, uh, all part of the fun of the round the island race. And I always put this up because it is an awful long way to go around the island, a long day on the water if you don't finish on the correct finishing line. Um, it is in the sailing instructions and uh, worth checking before you, before you uh, get to the finishing line. Okay, so just to recap, we'll probably have light easterly winds first thing in the morning, a little bit of rain around, that should break up and we should get some sunny spells in the morning, but still some showers. Now, it is going to stay quite variable, the wind, until the fronts come through, which is around about midday or possibly early afternoon. And then after the fronts are through, we'll get this light to moderate southwesterly wind. If you are delayed because of the, the light wind, it will pick up later in the day. And then, hopefully you're all there, have lots of fun. We may get a spinnaker start in the morning, uh, perhaps not as much sunshine as in this picture. But don't forget, we're all there to have fun and stay safe. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful race tomorrow. And if you see me on the water, uh, please don't complain if the weather's not doing quite what I expected. Thanks and good evening. Firstly, a huge thank you to the Round the Island Race for once again having the Ellen MacArthur Cancer Trust as the official race charity. Since we began our relationship in 2005, a huge amount of money has been raised, so thank you, and that's helped change the lives of hundreds of young people. What we're trying to do this year is break that magic £300,000 milestone. Thank you so much to all of you who have already donated when you registered for the race. To celebrate the race's 90th year, and to help the Trust support young people to believe in a brighter future. We'd love it if you could help us to take our fundraising even further this year. If you were able to text RACE FOR ALL, that's R-A-C-E-F-O-R-A-L-L, -L, all capitals, to 70085, that would be fantastic, both you as the skipper and also you as the crew. Thank you so, so much and have a wonderful race.